turn in my forecast. And making bullying and hazing disappear, that's what one man is trying to do. You see him here with magic and illusions he's going to show us. We'll tell you about Robert Hackinson and how he's making a difference. And 745, bullying and hazing, they're problems on college campuses, of course, and in, around the country. One man is using magic and illusions to educate those college students, even parents and professionals about it. Robert Hackinson Jr. joins us this morning. He flew into Indianapolis yesterday from Massachusetts, so welcome to the Hoosier State. Glad Thank to you have so you much. Here. It's a wonderful topic that you're addressing, something that a lot of parents, a lot of students have to worry about uh, from early on, from very young age. Why did you get into this, and why are you so passionate about it? I've been edutaining for uh, a little over a decade now, and the whole idea is my teacher was actually in high school was a magician and made accounting my favorite class. Oh, cool. Okay. And to <laughs> being and he used magic and illusions uh -huh. and made it really interactive. And I thought, what a great way. And I've always loved magic, and I even got into hypnosis. And when I graduated, I felt like it would be a really cool uh, way to use that as a tool to help deliver a message. So, what is? How are you delivering? Okay, you just said how. What <laughs> is this message? How is it getting through to these students? The message that I really try to focus on, I look at, you know, what bullying behavior is, what it isn't, mm -hmm. cyberbullying as well. You know, oftentimes we hear sticks and stones may break your bones, words will never hurt you. That was before the internet. Nowadays, it does. So we kind of talk about that and overall it really just promotes respect. You okay. know, when it comes to hazing, sometimes it's, oh, well, it's tradition. Well, traditions can change as well. And what kind of response are you getting from these college kids? Awesome all the way um, from college students all the way down high school middle school elementary everybody's really engaged the magic's always tailored to them and I think they really appreciate the fact that it's not someone just lecturing at them mm -hmm. and talking at them it's a way to communicate you know it's a really way of keeping everybody engaged getting the uh, them involved in the conversation and that's really my goal is to spur that conversation so it keeps on going after they leave. Great. Okay. And as you mentioned in the beginning, he calls this, Robert calls this edutaining. And right now you're going to edutain us with uh, uh, one of your examples here. Hi. Absolutely. Uh, so, Kylie, it's K Y L I E, right? You got it, yes. All right. K Y L I E. We have Kylie. Uh -huh. and are you right handed or left handed? I'm right handed. You're right handed. Yes. All right. What I need you to do is you're just going to put out your right hand for me. Okay. And uh, you don't get scared too easily, right? I don't know, sometimes. Not okay. Really. <laughs> I'll, I'll handle it. All I need you to do is hold this nice and tight, okay. turn it just like that, okay. and don't move. Okay. When it comes to the message, pretty much how I end is it all, all really comes down to one word, respect. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we're born with, it, but it is something that we can learn and promote to others. Not only respect for ourselves, but complete strangers you know if you see something making sure that you have enough respect for that person to actually step in in that moment that's what I want you to do okay I want you to think about that word respect in fact I want you to be passionate about it I want you to actually imagine that word like on a giant billboard uh, R-E-S-P-C-T right there burning into the billboard literally light it on fire each letter okay, okay. And I want you to just imagine that and send that thought all the way down <laughs> into your hands okay. and you can keep on and I know it's a little crazy but if you just think about it you're gonna feel all right in there and as you turn over, you can unfold it. Okay. Nice. Well, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Your name's cool. still on it, but now burnt in. It does say is respect. Is that one word? And it is respect. burnt. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> okay, Robert, awesome. That is a great message. And the reason you're here in Indiana is because you have an actual speaking engagement and a, a thing tonight at IUS down in New Albany. Um, that is this afternoon. So if anyone That's wants to uh, make a two hour road trip, <laughs> then uh, they can catch you down there later today. Thanks for stopping by our studio. Thank That's you so much message. for having me. Thank you. Randy? Hey, Kylie, you know Kenny, we'll have to see if his message works between Robert, you and me, showing each other respect because he's a Patriots fan and we're Colts fans here. So <laughs> we'll see how that respect plays out in the studio. Here, he has you know? a message so, for you guys. Yeah, yeah, there's two of us, one of him. We'll have a little talk after the other uh, weather cast here. So. Yeah, so if there's a blank spot in the newscast, you know something happened with Randy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>